All right, our last uh, plant today is number 28. This is Gymnocladus dioica. This is Kentucky coffee tree. So <clears throat> I apologize, we don't have a good specimen to stand in front of. The tree actually fell down. Uh, but luckily, there was lots of seedlings that came up around, so I at least have uh, some leaves or a leaf here uh, to talk about. So what I'm holding is one leaf of Gymnocladus dioica. This may be the largest leaf uh, species that we do uh, during the whole term. So you can see the, these leaflets uh, are more of an, a, uh, an ovate shape. They have an acute apex. Okay, and we know that we're not dealing with a leaf there because we go to the base of that structure and there's no bud. We come to the base of this structure, right, which is one of the branches in the, in the leaf, and there's no bud there. I come to the base of that structure, and ultimately what you'll find is at the base of the leaf of Gymnocladus dioica, you'll have a very small bud that's pretty closely oppressed to the, um, to the stem, so it's actually pretty inconspicuous itself. So um, alternately arranged leaves in Gymnocladus dioica, very large leaf, and it is in the uh, Fabaceae, and it has a true pod, and it has extremely hard seed. Uh, one of my uh, old professors used to uh, take football players, and because they're very tough guys, and he would give them files and a Gymnocladus dioica, a Kentucky coffee tree uh, seed, and see if they could actually scarify them by rubbing them on the file. Uh, so anyway, just to point to illustrate how hard the seed coat in Gymnocladus dioica are. It ultimately does become a uh, pretty decent uh, shade tree in the landscape, but as I mentioned earlier, in the context of golden rain tree, it is a really tough um, uh, a tree. It looks pretty poor uh, until it gets a little bit more mature, it has very coarse branching. So. At any rate, that is Gymnocladus dioica, the Kentucky coffee tree.